what I got here few LEDs and a battery and I have a resistor over here that's a 220 ohm resistor so what I'm gonna show you today just how to connect this LED to this this 9 volt battery it is one of the simplest simplest circuit circuit um, before we go into that, I want to tell oops, something about this LED. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So it has like, you can see these two legs. There. So you'll see these two, two legs. Um, one is a little longer than the, the other one. A little longer than the other one. So the, the 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 longest one is the the positive terminal, and the the smallest one is the negative terminal, or in other words, you call the this biggest leg um, called a cathode of the LED. Oh, sorry, the biggest one is the anode of the LED, and the smallest uh, one is the cathode. Of the LED so just remember the positive leg the bigger one which is the anode and the smallest one or the shortest one um, which is the negative leg which is cathode um, before we connect to this I just want to draw a little picture like a little diagram and I'll show you how we draw an LED on, um, in a circuit diagram. So, oops. Okay, so this is the symbol for an LED. This is what um, electronics engineers or um, who are work, working with electronics dealing with diagrams uh, draw this this is a um, symbol for LED and this little line over here so this is the negative terminal and this is the positive terminal and we connect see if, if this is a battery it's just if that's a battery oops then this is the negative terminal of the battery the negative terminal or the ground and positive terminal of the battery this is the positive terminal and what we do if in order to uh, light the same LED we have to connect the negative terminal of the LED to the negative terminal of the battery and positive terminal of the LED to the positive terminal of the battery. Oh, I made a mistake actually. So this is the symbol. You know, two arrows goes out of this. This is the symbol for diode. Uh, LED is basically called light emitting diode. Um, it emits lights, the diode that can emit light. So this two arrow indicates that it's emitting light. So it's a light emitting diode. That's an LED. Okay. So that's how we do it. But this diagram is, I won't say it's exactly correct because this battery looks like it can provide a very high like a high voltage that this little LED can handle for example if it is a 9 volt battery just like that we don't want to connect this 9 volt battery directly to a uh, LED like that because uh, this LED probably work at 
say 2 volts or 2.5 volt maybe less than that 1.7 volt you don't want to connect a 1.7 volt LED directly to a 9 volt battery that will burn out this LED it will damage the LED and we won't be able to use it anymore so what we do we have to use something like this that is a um, that's a resistor so what what we do instead of connect, connect, connecting uh, one of the terminal of the LED to the uh, directly to the terminal of the battery we will connect this resistor in series with this LED like that so you can probably draw the circuit diagram something like that you go through a resistor this a 220 ohm resistor so using this 220 ohm resistor which is enough to limit the current through the LED then you can connect that to a battery like that um, you can uh, connect uh, this resistor on either side like you can connect it over here or here okay let's um, go uh, and make connections in uh, real life so what I've got here I got the um, this breadboard over here so you can see it's, it's full of holes. Well, actually, if you look at this bread bo uh, breadboard, you see all these holes, all these holes, uh, these horizontal holes are connected together. This row and these two rows connected together, same here. These holes connected together and this one is connected together and all these holes, these vertical, vertically arranged holes, all of these connected together. But there's no connection between this one and that one. It's, it's just this one is connected together, this one is connected together, this one is connected together. You can see from it number from 1 to 60 over here, 60, 61, 60, 60, 63. Okay, let's do one. So first, our battery. This is a nine volt battery. Um, you can actually use uh, maybe something like this. This is a two double double A battery together. So this is one point five volt, one point five volt. So it's approximately it's three volt battery. So you can connect the three volt directly to the negative and positive rail you can see like there's a positive and negative sign you can connect negative or positive sign i mean rail of the breadboard or you can use this nine volt battery and i have this little connector it has like two wires like the red and black the red is positive term positive wire and the uh, the black is um, negative or the ground wire yeah, just connecting it like that very quick then I'm connecting this battery to the negative and positive terminal or the rail of the uh, breadboard so we have power supply Power supply going here, positive and negative. So, first, this is something that I want to want to show. This white LED. This we can connect this one directly to this nine volt uh, battery. No problem. It can handle quite a lot of current. So, you don't have to use a resistor or anything you can just connect directly as i said the longest the longest leg of the led is 
positive and the shortest is negative. So I'm connecting the positive, the longest one to the positive rail and the, the other one to the negative rail. Oops. You can see it's lighting up directly. It's so too bright. But you don't want to connect any other LEDs like this red one or this yellow or green green or this orange because it works at a very low voltage probably 1.7 volt or 2 volt that is rated voltage for this LED otherwise if I connect this one directly uh, to this rail uh, it will damage the uh, this LEDs it will burn out the LED so what I want to do I will use a resistor in series uh, with this LED to limit the current for that, I'm using this, um, this is a 220 ohm resistor, which is enough, which is good enough, which will work. Or I can use uh, 1K, 1 kilo ohm resistor, which is, um, which, which will be more safe when, when you, use a 9 volt battery but anyway, I'm gonna go with I, I'll use, I, I'll show you with both but I'm gonna go uh, gonna go with the the 220 ohm resistor okay so what I'm gonna do I'm connecting this resistor to one of the rail okay I'm connecting let's connect to the positive rail you can see it's connected to the positive rail of the breadboard so the battery is here and the positive wire come in here and it is connected to the positive rail of the breadboard and the ground wire the, the negative wire the black wire is connected to the negative rail of the breadboard and they connected this um, 220 ohm resistor to the positive rail the, like the one end to the positive rail of the breadboard and the connected to one of the holes on uh, on this this line of holes then what I gotta do I wanna connect this is just like a piece of wire like a jumper wire a piece of wire copper wire I'm connecting so I connected to the connect the resistor to the positive rail so I'll be using this jumper wire to the negative rail to one of the other uh, vertical holes then I'm using okay, let's use this uh, red LED it has um, the biggest leg uh, or the longest leg which is positive leg I'm connecting to the the pause to the resistor one end of the resistor which is connected to the positive rail and the other end to the negative negative rail there you go you can see it's too bright but it's not that bright it's just the camera it's making it like almost like white but it's not that white let me see okay right now let's see what happened if I, I I just gonna take I mean pull off this resistor this 220 ohm resistor and I'm connecting this one kilo ohm resistor let's see what happens let's connect here uh, there's no big difference uh, let's I mean, visibly, I can see it, it, it brightness reduced a little bit, but you won't be able to see that in camera. So if you use, the, the point is, if you use a high resistance, the current flowing through the LED uh, will be decreased, and which results in uh, lower brightness. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove this uh, battery, this 9-volt battery. 
and this is like three volt to 1.5 AA cells and I'm just connected some wires to the uh, the battery and connecting this positive to the positive rail and negative to the negative rail so you can see it's it lit but very uh, low brightness because it's just like three volt that was like nine volt so that why it is like less brighter than a nine volt battery all right and if i remove this uh, one kilo ohm resistor and put back uh, the 220 ohm resistor it's still light up but it's brighter yeah. um, let's try this blue led oops because it's not lighting lighting up because i think i flipped the I connected in wrong way only how to do just flip like that that will work oops yeah so that's blue let's try the orange one that is an orange one then green it's a green one Try the yellow. Oops. Yeah, that's the yellow. That's cool. Let's try the white. I don't think white will work, but let's see. Oh, it worked. Okay, there you go. So the white LED also worked. So that's about it. It's quite easy uh, to connect an LED to a battery through a bre breadboard and the next video I'm going to show how to um, use a, a switch or a push button switch so we can turn on the LED only when we want to we don't want to keep it uh, on all the time turned on all the time um, yeah so the next video I will show you how to um, connect a switch um in this circuit so i hope you sh hope you learned something from this video uh, if you liked it just um give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like to see more videos or learn more about electronics i mean basic electronics for now bye